Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to Friendship Shaving. I'm going to be shaving with both a Chevette style razor and a safety razor this week. And I was inspired to do this as I had a question on the last shave video that I did with my Shaver's Delight Shavette. And Colin asked me, what's the difference between a Shavette and a safety razor, especially if they both have the same blade. Colin is thinking of coming away from disposable multi-blade cartridges to a more traditional way of shaving. Now I did say in the last video that I did with this razor that I feel the blade more with a shavette style of razor rather than a safety razor. Now there are caveats to that but I wanted to explore that a little bit more today. So I've got my Shaver's Delight Shavette and just to let you know this is a direct copy of the Kai Captain Casho razor and I've been kindly informed of that by Nick Cambitis who had both and I'm going to be comparing that with an Edwin Jagger traditional style safety razor. The brush I've got today is my vintage rubber set with its original bore bristle knot. You can see I've got some soap on that ready to go and I've got some prep on my face. The uh, multi-purpose cream but it is recognised as a good pre-shave cream. Can smell the camphor and the menthol. Feels very nice actually. Definitely a very different type of um, scent and feel to the Prorasso white that I have. In both razors I've got a Lord to Jam Super Stainless Blade and uh, I'd like to thank Laurie who goes by the name of Uncle L on his own shaving YouTube channel and I will put the link in below. I was talking about splitting a blade in the packet and getting the little edges curling up and Laurie of course told me and it's not the first time he's told me that you can cut them with a pair of scissors and in fact most double-edged razor blades have a line to mark the centre point so I've cut the blade in two and we have half in here. Now I've had my pre-shave on for about five minutes while I've been messing around. The soap is Ariana and Evans's Cacao Lusuria. There we are. A and E, and I'm going to use that today with my Bart Balm Ben Hope Peppermint Aftershave Balm, so peppermint and chocolate. Now, <coughs> Oh, you can really feel the comfort and the menthol when you put a drop of water on your face. This is about the third time I've used this brush. It's a little bit rough actually. It's going to take some breaking in this one, but it is Or it does have a bore knot that is very, very old indeed. So I will just keep using it. Um, for the length of the knot, you'd think it would splay easily, but you can see there is more backbone than one might imagine. 
on this very old brush, Vintage USA. Smelling nice, it's smelling lovely and chocolatey. And it kind of goes well with the camphorous mentholy smell of the prep. I like the prep, it works terrifically for razor burn. There we are, let's go with that. Now I think I'm going to start with the Edwin Jagger DE89. It is one of my favourite razors. And this Lord to Jam Blade is quite nice. Not the best that I've used on my skin, but uh, certainly is quite nice. There we are. It's feeling much better actually. Second shave does make a difference sometimes. So I suppose what I should start off by saying is that I think um, a safety razor is safer than a Chevette or a straight razor and also the shave is quicker and easier. I think that's true of most people and if you are changing from a cartridge riser or a disposable riser and coming over to a safety riser I would recommend a traditional style safety riser rather than a shaver for reasons that I'll come to in a little while. But this is a very easy shave And especially if you are shaving first thing in the morning before you go to work. And I should also say that when you use a razor of any sort, when you put the blade on your face, And of course, with the Chauvet style razor, the blade is quite exposed. You might be able to see it. There we are. It's quite exposed. So when you put any blade on your face, it creates pressure and it creates a wave of skin just in front of the blade edge. Well, the guard on a safety razor flattens that edge and makes it a smooth surface for the blade to pass over. So of course with a Chevet style riser you don't have the luxury of the guard and you have to make sure that you stretch the skin yourself to get that flatter surface. Now this has got the half to jam blade in, glasses up. And just in the way that a safety riser is designed to sit on the face at a certain angle, so too is the Chevette, where the very edge of the razor lines up with the blade itself, and that there is 
an approximate angle. It's a lot finer than it shows up against my finger, but there is a correct angle to aim for with a Chevet razor. And I happen to think, now that I've used it a few times, that this Chevet razor is a very nice. The blade actually feels the same in both razors. Now that, I think, is possibly purely chance. Because in the way that not all safety razors have the same design or the same blade feel on the skin, that is also true of Chevette's. So this is quite a nice one. feel you are much more likely to cut yourself with a chivette if you're not used to it. And even then, a moment's lack of concentration could be a, could be a cut. Just putting the blade on the skin under the nose a little bit heavy handedly, or as I've done myself, Shaving, taking the blade off to see how you've done. I'll just move it away because I've done it once. And then looking up like that, I took my chin all the way along the length of the blade. And it was a longer blade than this one. Um, it's moments like that that you might cut yourself with a shave at. With the actual shave itself, as long as you're moving the razor in that sort of direction, it's pretty safe. But I would not like to use this when I'm half asleep or stressed out, thinking about something else. You've got to be present in the show. That's what I think. Perhaps if you've been raised, using a shaver for a very long time, you might, you might have a different opinion. Can you see my neck is really red there, and it's only from the um, from the prep. just going to brush this on. It's going to take a long while to break in this brush. Somehow the bristles seem much thicker and heavier than my little Samoog 820. Now, I don't know if that's true or I don't know, but it is a very, very old brush, so I'm just lucky to be using it with, with its original knot. I think that's quite phenomenal, actually, guys. I really do. So I'm going to do the same shape as I normally do, basically two directions going more or less down the skin. And one more or less against the grain, which for me 
is mostly an upward direction. And then we'll compare. We'll compare the results at the end. Now one thing I do find difficult using the Shabbat is going in that direction. From the chin upwards to the ear um, on the other side of my face if you know what I mean. There we are, we'll just go across the grain on the top lip there. I find that very comfortable with this Edwin Jagger razor, just blowing a little bit of air into the top lip to flatten it out a bit. Now I know with the Shabbat razor that doesn't feel as comfortable and um, I think it was at that point in my last shave with this razor, the uh, Kai Captain copy, that I think it was on the top lip that I said that you feel more blade with a Chevette. It is on those areas where there's less structure to the skin, perhaps less muscle mass under the skin, the skin is looser. And I have to say, going with the grain, this is a very nice show that. I'm trying to stretch my skin a little bit. Now I've gotten used to certain areas, there are certain areas on my face where I don't really need to stretch the skin as much as I, I used to when I started. off there. I think I'm uh, losing a little bit of leather here. Perhaps that old boar knot is stealing my leather. mentioned earlier that not all shave outs are made the same. Some are certainly more aggressive than others and the knack with a shave out that can be quite difficult is you're making micro movements with your thumb and finger to adjust the blade. Um, sometimes those small movements with the fingers can have a big effect on the blade so there is definitely a knack to using a shaver now I've got a little little mark there I've had it for years shaved it right off the other day with a shaver and blade There's always that movement across the top lip there with a the shaver that I feel a little bit unsure about. Much more confident with a safety razor in that area. You can saw that even I was stretching it, so I'm a little bit hesitant.
This is nice soap. Lots of slickness on this soap. Really nice. I smell all chocolatey and lovely. Yeah, I think my soap has definitely disappeared, even out of the bowl. But we've got plenty there. Well, we'll pop this on. And I've got enough in the brush, even if that dissipates a little bit. So we're going to go against the grain with a safety razor first. Now I tell you what guys, on the left side of my face here, this is where I often catch myself with it, even with a safety razor. You can see I've lifted my chin up to stretch my neck, but along the jawline and especially just to the side of my chin here, under my cheek there, I get a little bit of sort of soft skin that comes just off the jaw slightly. So if I shave quickly there, just, just where I am now, if I shave quickly there, even with a nice mild razor like the Edwin Jagger. That fold of skin can still get between the guard and the blade and just nick myself. And I think generally, that's what happens when you get nicks. You can see if I don't stretch my skin here, keep it loose. You can see that wave in front of the blade that I was talking about. Now even a safety razor can give you a nick if your skin gets in that spot. Um, especially if you've got a large blade gap and a very sharp blade like a feather or a kai. There we are, that's one side. That's the safety razor side finished. I love this safety razor. I love the uh, shape of the handle, octagonal shaped handle. Now, the shaver's delight shaver on the other side. Got my chin up again against the grain on the neck. Now I really felt the blade there, so obviously I didn't get quite the right angle. And it's, this area I feel is quite difficult because the angle of your neck changes as the blade goes up your neck. Sure to stretch. I've actually caught that little spot, haven't I? Again with this razor. It's funny, not all chevettes cut it, but this one must be quite a close shave, I guess. Against the grain, going up under your sideburn, you really need to watch your rear load, guys. If you're new, to using a shave head. Especially when you're half asleep in the morning. Gee, that would hurt, wouldn't it? And for the last bit of the shave, we'll come from my nose up towards my ear on the right side of my face. Now 
There we are, we've done the whole half, we've completely shaved that off. And that's my shave. Now, I can feel... God, my neck is really red from that prep. But I can feel, just down here, a little more sore than under my jawline there. A little more sore on the side that I use the shave at than I am with the safety razor. I think it takes skill and practice to use a shave at. Now, I did have a shave with both these razors in the wig and I managed to get it very close in terms of that post shave feel. They are I would say an identical shave each side. I perhaps missed a little bit on, on the right side, the shave that side of where the corner of my lip is there. I got that a bit better on the other side. So I'm just going to... There we are. We'll use the uh, safety razor just to fix that. But all in all, a very close shave between the two. And as I say, I think that is just chance that these two razors, although they are different types, they kind of match each other in performance. I think if I'd used the Feather DX, it would have been a bit of a different shave comparing it to the Edwin Jagger DE89. I always get quite an aggressive shave with the Feather. So for me, these shavettes or a straight razor, um, they're for a different type of shave. You know, they're for one I can really take my time and slow down and think about what I'm doing rather than I couldn't I wouldn't like to shave with one of these in a rush. Uh, I think that could be quite dangerous for me anyway. Only speaking for myself here. Now I'm gonna take some of this. Bart's balm that I got. You may have seen that I got um, a gift pack with seven balms in. This one is just pure peppermint in here. Um, really smells nice. I'm actually just going to mix that with a little bit, just a touch of the Avon Men Care. Let's see how this peppermint goes. Oh yeah, it smells nice. That is really tingly, the peppermint. And peppermint, of course, no, let me rephrase that. Menthol is frozen peppermint, so peppermint is also very good for a pre-shave, so this is a very good balm. Now I know I've mixed it a little bit, but I've forgotten how nice the Bart's balms feel. I wasn't sure about the peppermint, that's why I mixed it up a little bit. Feels uh, definitely getting um, a menthol type feel now. So anyway guys, that is my shave. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed shaving. And uh, just like to say thank you to Colin for asking that question. And I hope this answers the question. How are a shavette and a safety razor different even given that they might have the same blade in. You take care guys, I'll talk to you again soon. All the very best now. Bye bye.